Hi, this is Charles Kim with Tap Into South Brunswick and Cranberry. We're here at Pierre's of South Brunswick uh, Banquet Hall today for the Mayor Bank Gamatee's State of the Township Address for South Brunswick. So we'll take you right to it. even better than what we think it is. In fact, I, I think this year we just got an award as being one of the best places to raise a family in the state of New Jersey. And I think that tells you something, because we're not just about business, we're about people. So I think that's an important thing. What I'd like to do, if you don't mind, I'm gonna sit down, I got a sciatic nerve problem, so I don't want you to see me shaking up here. That wouldn't be a good uh, you know, image to create. So if you don't mind, I'm going to sit down, pull a chair up, and we'll just tell you what a great year we had in 2015. So first off, we, we need our economic development corporation. Let's give them another big hand, okay? One of the... Uh, <coughs> yeah, thank you. I just want to tell you the... Uh, Okay. That's good. I got a big enough mouth that only you can hear me, right? Everybody can hear me? Okay. This particular year, just to show you, we already, we already have approved 3 million square feet more of warehousing in the year 2015. And I think that's a great thing. We're now over 40 million square foot. All of our warehouses are occupied. We, we have reoccupied 3 million square feet of existing space that was empty at the particular time. So that's a brilliant. It's telling us that the economy is coming back. Some of the other things is we have office, new office space, 75,000 square foot. R&D space, 350,000 square feet. We have two new shopping centers going in one on Route 27, and one that's going to be built on Route 130. In addition to that, our housing stock is rising out of the roof. We are one of the few towns that believes in affordable housing. That means that we have complied with the first round obligations, the second round obligations, and we are well on our way to our third round obligations for affordable housing. Now that's important because we need housing for all economic, uh, economic uh, structures within our township. People who are lower paid and people who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars. We have homes that go from 200,000 to almost a million to two million dollars uh, in cost. That to me shows that our township is well, well defined in terms of the marketplace. People keep telling me, they hear on the radio, advertisements for locating your business on exit 8A. Well, there's only one town that I see in 8A, and that's South Brunswick. So I want to thank all of the businesses who contact me and want to meet with us to try to locate we only are half built, by the way. It's a great thing, okay? It means we have the ability to plan out what our township is to become. Half built means that we still got 9,000 acres that need to be developed. That's a lot of acreage. Now, if we're not careful, and we don't plan well, we'll have, in fact, I had the planner give me a full build out what we would have in South Brunswick if we built out every single acre of land. And he told me 93,000 people. 
Now that scared me, to tell you the truth. Uh, that's really not capable, our infrastructure really couldn't handle that type of capacity in terms of our township. So we need to plan that very, very well. And I think we've done a pretty good job of it. We have 26 parks in this township, 26. In addition to that, we have 11 parcels of land that we have purchased through the open space uh, club. That's land that's just set aside and it's gonna remain green at this particular time. We have no plans to do any development there. Not even parks, because we think we have enough parks. Our parks are all, they, all, we have two soccer fields that are artificial turf. We got a football field that's artificial turf. We got five baseball fields that are artificial turf. This year we just created a women's a sports complex right behind the municipal building with lights. So we believe that our sporting events and our activities for young is really up there. Nobody can compete with us. We just built a wellness center in town. It's attached to the senior center. And by the way, our senior center is second to none. I mean, nobody can compete with us in this area. The senior center is open six days a week, Monday through Friday, 1 to 4.30, I mean 9 to 4.30, and on Sunday, 1 to 4. I don't think you're going to find too many senior centers that are open six days a week. We were, at one point, open for seven days a week, but we didn't feel there was enough activity to, to go to seven days. In addition to that, we're building more housing in our township, and this is going to be on the affordable housing level. We're putting up 225 more adult affordable housing units on Route 27, and 75 that are going to be dedicated to veterans, disabled veterans. That's a great thing, okay? Our veterans need housing probably desperately uh, at this particular time. I also want to say that we are continuing to upgrade our infrastructure. Five major roads have been repaved. That includes 522, which is right outside, Route 130, of course, we got the state to finally repay that, and that was needed. We did ask the state also, and we're waiting for the word back on it, to take Route 1, and if they're not going to build a third lane, which we think we need, that at least let us use the entrance and exit ramps, okay, as a third lane during critical times in the morning and in the evening. We have SOC programs for all ages, from the young at seven, eight years old, right up to adults who are playing softball and basketball. The uh, other interesting thing is that the repaving continues, and we keep applying for grants from the state. We just received a grant for $400,000 to repave new roads. Those, that repavement is in, is in addition to Sand Hill Road, Route 522, Route 130, Richard Road, and we have other projects that are going on constantly throughout the township. This is a great place to live. There's no doubt about it. Our school system is second to none. I think we have about 9,000 students in our school system. That alone tells you that people are seeing South Brunswick as a place to really live. Our police department, which you'll hear later, to me, I think we got the best police department in the state. And thank you, Chief, for what you've done here. So I appreciate that. We also have one other thing that benefits all the business community. You don't have to worry about your roads gonna be shut down. We're known as being the, one of the best townships for cleaning your roads, so your employees can't give you an excuse that they couldn't get in because of the snow. So just remember that, okay? In the same vein, we have to make sure that their travel is safe, and that's what our police department does. Our library is continuing to grow. It's, it's a place where most towns, they don't see their libraries growing anymore. 
The libraries have changed in this day and age. It's not just a book anymore. It's actually computer usages, things that are put online. We encourage, and you're going to hear from our director of the library that, you know what? He's, we got things to offer all of the business communities and their employees in the township. So these are just some of the things that I think we, we had, as I said, I just got a report today with regard to the total valuation of all property in South Brunswick in the year 2015. I just want to throw this number out there because it's staggering. The total value of all property in South Brunswick is now worth $8,700,000,000. Last year, it was $7,900,000,000, million. So you can see that $700 million to $800 million increase in the total number of property values in the township. That tells you something, I think. We're going to end up, hopefully, with a very healthy surplus so that the taxes will remain stable next year. We try very, very hard, and I want to commend the council for the great job that they do in keeping those taxes down. Uh, you know, you're not going to see a big increase, we hope, this year. From what I can see as an accountant, I don't think it'll be too big. It'll be probably be at the lowest level in years that we've had. So I want to thank council for all they've done. And all of the committees in this township, we have committees that the council and myself are out every single night a week, just trying to keep pace and making sure that those meetings are run properly. Our planning board and our zoning boards are stacked with applications. And that's what this township is all about. I took a, uh, helicopter ride, to tell you the truth, over the township. And I was amazed that when I flew over the warehouse area, it is staggering to see all these great warehouses, six, 500,000, million square feet, million and a half square feet of warehouses. Because not only it's not just the building and the taxes that you're paying, it's jobs that you're providing for our residents and the residents in surrounding areas. So, you know, that, that to me says something. We had to set up a new department this year just for transportation of getting people who can't get out of their house to work, to a job, or whatever else it may be, the doctor's office, or if they have to go to, uh, to uh, shopping that they can't get anywhere, they can't get there without having some kind of help from the township. We'll provide help, we'll provide transportation for that. So, I think we've had a great year. And the year has been great because of all of you who are sitting out there today. So I just want to thank you and I want you to know that my door is never closed, okay? Unless I'm having a meeting with one of you guys. So my door is open. My secretary, if you want, you want to meet with me, you can either come up, take the chance that nobody's in my office, but if there is, you're going to have to wait. Uh, I will give you all of the help that you need with regard to your business. I will make sure that I have the proper people there in attendance at that meeting to answer any questions you may have. I've said before, your success is our success, and our success is your success. So again, I want to thank you for coming today. If you have any questions later that you want to talk to me about, Please, feel free to come up, and I know you want to hear from the other people. You're going to hear from, I think, the chief is next, so you mm -hmm. can introduce him. We have the best chief in the state, no doubt about it. And, of course, that means that, you know what, he needs more help all the time. So he keeps coming to me saying, Mayor, I need more people, or I need this, or I need that. But you know what, we try to give it to him because... The safety of our residents, the health and safety of our residents is paramount as far as we're concerned. So Joseph, thank you for having me uh, give a little bit of a State of the Union. I hope I've at least informed you of what South Brunswick is about. Please come again next year. Thank you. Thank you.